we are going to focus more in on individual muscles. So we're going strength. Um, our intervals are going to be 40 seconds. And we're going to do two rounds of each exercise. And we're going to be stacking different exercises on top of each other to really go for full muscle burnout and fatigue. So on that note, uh, be mindful of your form, your posture. I'll be reminding you of how to do it. And just push yourself, do your best, and we're gonna have a great workout. Um, so let's go ahead and come up to stand to start. Okay. Awesome. Um, and we're gonna start with a quick warm up. And grooving before we really hone in on those individual muscles. So the warm up is gonna be 30 seconds of shoulder circles and each side, and then 30 seconds of inchworms, just to get everything moving and grooving. So I'm gonna angle this up a little bit so you guys can see me better. Sweet, there we go. All right, so cycles on, fans on, brains on. Cool. First 30 seconds, we are doing shoulder circles with the right arm. So left arm across the body, right arm reaches all the way up, rotate through, full circle, back and around. And we're just opening everything up, not doing this for any kind of strength purposes, just to start moving a little bit. Good. Keep moving through it. I'm going to angle this up a bit more so you guys can see. Nice back down, George. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Good. And we talked about this yesterday. And just a reminder for the workout today, it is toasty, at least in Los Angeles. Um, so please make sure to drink water. Uh, I'll give recommended times in which to do that, but also take as many breaks and sips as you need. Awesome. Switch to the other arm, right arm across the body, left arm reaches up, rotate back through. Cool. Awesome. What? Good. What? We've got Instagram going. We've got our Zoom going. Last 10 seconds. Really straightening out the arm as you work through it. You can give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next 30 seconds. Inchworms, we're coming back to our workspace. We're walking all the way out, walking all the way back in and reaching the arms up and overhead. I don't care how fast you do it, just work through that range. Here we go, 30 seconds. All the way out, all the way in, and reach up and over, big shoulder stretch. Getting everything moving and grooving. Nice. Good, keep moving through it. I'm gonna see who's on our Zoom today. Instagram, awesome job. I love it. Sydney and Sophia, awesome. Good to see you girls. Last 10 seconds, then we're going to focus in on our forearm fireworks. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, everyone up to stand. First thing is first, really drilling into our forearms as we tend to do in our workouts. And we're going to start with the forearm fireworks. So arms extend out by my side. We have 40 seconds, two sets. First set, we're working medium pace, out and in. Um, and then the second set, you have the option to either slow it down or speed it up depending on your goal. The first 40 seconds, we're just extending out, squeezing in, getting into the form. So let's do it. And this would be the equivalent if you had weights of doing like an upward wrist curl, but because we have our bands, we get to dive into it like so. Great. Good, nice and slow, fully extending out. And maybe only contracting halfway in so that we're really focusing on drilling into those forms. Good. Yeah. Awesome job. Half done. Good. Last 10. Give me five, four, 
three, two, and one. Shake it out. Give the wrist a roll. Let's get my cycle we're going. Awesome. All right. Second set, in order to really work into the muscles, instead of taking it through a full range of motion out and in, I challenge you to curl, extend, curl, extend, and we're going to extend and do a little pulse at the end. So for each one of our exercises today, we're not only going to work into that muscle, but we're really going to drill into the muscle at the very end. Arms out by the sides. Extend through the fingertips, 40 seconds, halfway curl, extend, in and out. And if you want to move fast, you can. That uh, builds a little bit leaner muscle. If you want to go for a little bit bigger, bulkier build, work through that smaller range of motion, really small movement. Yeah. Woo, I love it. Good. And I am barely moving my hands here, but by fully extending out through the fingertips, I'm engaging my forearms as I lengthen out. Fantastic. Half done. Good. So we have our 40 seconds. And then we're going to do a 10-second pulse at the end to fire up the muscle, and I'll walk you through it. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Six, five, four, three, two. Extend your fingertips out without bending your elbows. Lift them up, up, back to the hands. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Aim the fingers of the right hand down, grab them, pull them in, take the stretch. And switch sides. Now, for our triceps today, we have not one, but two exercises. So really finding that one muscle and drilling into it to the point of fatigue. Our first exercise is a tricep extension. We've done a lot of these. And the second one is a tricep rocker. So first one, tricep extension, pull the elbows in. Imagine you're holding, say, I don't know, 50 pounds of weight here, a little bend in the knees, keeping the spine straight the whole time. First 40 seconds, let's start with our arms extended out and then work on pulling them in, extend all the way. Time is rolling, let's go for it. Little bit in, all the way out, little bit in, all the way out. Now that good form means that my shoulder heads aren't dipping down. I'm pulling them away from my ears the whole time. Little in, all the way out. Yes. That's that move. See if you can imagine that you're pulling something in and pushing those 30, 40, 50, however many pound weights away from you the whole time. Nice. Good. Half done. See if you can make that move even smaller. Go for shakiness in the triceps. We want to burn this muscle out. In 10, we're going to extend fully out and pulse maximum contraction. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Little pulses at the top. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake out the hands. We have 20 seconds rest, and then we're diving right into our second set. These look really good, okay? Yesterday was challenging in like a jumpy, bouncy way. Today is challenging in a way that you're like, I'm really tired, I wanna stop, but don't do it, okay? Elbows in, grab those imaginary 50 pound weights and extend them back behind you. Now, option on this set to go fast, if you're looking for that leaner muscle, or similar pace slow if you're wanting to build up some bulk. 40 seconds, here we go. I'm gonna go slower, because I'm a little human, and I'll take as much bulk as I can get. Good. Woo! Yes. Pulling in, pushing out. That's it. Good, the whole time you're doing this, you're keeping your core engaged. And I'm really pitched forward, because it gives me a range of motion. You can do this more upright, that's fine. And and out. Nice. Keep it up. Half done. Yeah, there we go. Woo! 
Starting to feel that burn. All right. We've got 10 more seconds, then we're going to pulse. Don't stop now. Let's see if you can make that range of motion even shorter. Burn it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Extend. Pull your shoulders down. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Now, we get to keep going with the triceps. Because we just did a lot of work, you might notice that you have a one, two, five rep maximum. There is no obligation to continue this exercise throughout the duration that we're doing it. I want you to do it as long as you can, keeping good form, okay? We do intervals, not reps, because there's so many of us, I can't really count your reps. So for the tricep rocker, you come down either onto hands and knees, slightly easier, and the farther you walk your hands away from your body, keeping your hips over your knees, none of this, none of this. So I'm pressing the base of my hands away from me. I rock down and up. Now, to make it more challenging, I want you to work slowly through it. Down to hover, up to straight. That's one variation. The full variation of this, if you're looking for a real challenge, is coming into plank pose. My wrists are in front of my shoulders. I rock down, I press up. Down, press up, okay? Make your way into plank or on your knees. Walk your hands forward. 40 seconds, here we go. Down, press up. Make it harder, work slowly through it. Down, press up slowly, keep going. Yes. Challenge yourself. Maybe see if you can walk your hands even further away from the body. Keep it up. Good. Good. Keeping the core engaged the whole time. Nice, Jeff. <laughs> and your arms are already going to be really, really tired. So be patient here. Even if you only do three reps, five reps, one rep the whole time, that's fine. Half done. One of those strength days. All we need are bands and body weight. We can go for that full burn. We have 10 seconds, then we're going to hover the elbows and pulse them, really working into it. Give me five, four, three, two. Hover your elbows off the mat. Pulse them. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest. Take the right arm across the body. Stretch it out. Switch sides. Left arm across the body. Fantastic. Make your way into tabletop or plank. Your choice. Second set. Speed is up to you. Faster, leaner muscle. Slower, more bulk. We have four. Three, two. Here we go. Work it down. Work it up. You want more of a challenge? Don't let your elbow touch the floor. Hover, press. Hover, press. Amazing. I love it. Whew. After this, we're going to be happy to give our biceps or triceps a break. Amazing. Half done. Keep the good form. We don't want to let our hips sag. And notice if your elbows are starting to splay out to the sides, try and keep them like two arrows pointing directly back behind you. Last four. Three, two. Hover those elbows off the mat. Pulse them. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Right hand between the shoulder blades. Use the left hand to help guide it back. Awesome. Switch sides. Left hand between the blades. Release it. All right. Bicep curls. Familiar exercise. Okay. Imagine you're holding those heavy weights again. Both of our sets, I'm going to take slow. I encourage everyone to take the first set slow. If you want to add speed on the second set, you can. But just get a feeling for what it feels like to be 
fully contracting that muscle the whole time. If you haven't had a sip of water, maybe consider grabbing one now. All right. Grab your imaginary set of weights. And I'm going to call it a reverse bicep curl because instead of thinking of curling up and down, I want us to start with our hands up by our shoulders, fully contracting that muscle, and then slowly keeping the contraction. Drop the forearms down, pull them all the way up, okay? 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two. Let's do it. Resisting down 90 degrees, resisting right back up. Resisting down only to 90, resisting right back up. And if you want to add a count, it's down two, three, up two, three, down two, three, up two, three. Half done. Nice. We are going to have the pulse again at the end of our set. 15 more seconds. Good. I love it. I feel it. I'm squeezing. I'm burning. Lower. We pulse in five, four, three, two. Pull those fists in. Little pulses. Squeeze your elbows into the midline of the body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release, shake it out, 20 seconds rest. We're going right into that second set. I encourage going just as slowly. Pick up your imaginary weight, fully contract your biceps, pull your fist in towards your shoulders. Second set in three, two, one. We go down, two, three, up, two, three. Contracting so hard that you're gonna burst those bands right off your biceps. Amazing job. Keep going. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I love it. Checking in on those Instagram to see how they're doing. Awesome. Good. Keep going. <laughs> Half done. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Keep my Instagram going. Last 10, then we're going to pull. Great, guys. Five, four, three, two. Little pulses. In, in, eight, seven, six, five. Core is working, two, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. Awesome. Great job. We have one more exercise for the upper body. So there's varying levels of, I'm just going to say it, crazy for this exercise. We are doing what is called a spider man, spider human, spider girl push up. You can either do the spider human push up, or if you're feeling all kinds of wild today, I was playing around with this before the workout, you can try a single arm push up. Yeah, it's wild. So, first option. Spider person push up. I come into plank position. I add extra weight to my arms by pulling my knee up. I drop down two, three, up two, three, and then I switch. So I was trying to think of ways when I was making this workout to add more weight to the arms to make it more challenging. We can do that by lifting a leg. If pulling your leg up isn't doing it for you, you can always just lift the leg down two, Three, up, two, three. If you're feeling super crazy today, I suggest doing this on your knees. You can take one hand behind the back and do a single arm push-up. Okay? We have two sets. So you can do one set, one arm, and one set, the other. If you're going single arm push-up, you should not be able to do more than, like, three or five of these. But we're going for maximum strength today. So, your choice. One-legged push-up. Or one arm push up, 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, whichever one you're doing, down, two, three, up, two, three. Switch, down, two, three, up, two, three. Keep going. 
If you want to go down for a count of five instead of down for a count of three, great. If you want to go down for a count of 10, even better. Make this exercise your own. If you're doing single arm push-ups, be careful. Listen to your body. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Then we're going to hold at the bottom and hover it. Isometric hold. Five, four, three, two. Drop and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push back up and rest. Clasp your hands behind your back. Open up the chest. I couldn't see anyone doing a single arm push-up, but if you're doing it, my hat's off to you. Because I was trying to do these before class, and they are darn hard. All right, make your way back into plank position. Or if you're doing single arm push-up, onto your knees. Step back. Last 40 seconds of the upper body. We're going in four, three, two. Let's do it. Either spider person push-up, nice and slow, or single arm push-up. Yes. Awesome. Let's see if we can slow down that push-up even more. If you're trying single arm, great job. We are half done. Keep it going. Shoulders stay stacked over wrists the whole time, whichever variation you're doing. Work the upper body. Mm-hmm. In five, we're going to hover and hold it. Give me three, two, one. Drop into that position. Hold it. Straight spine. Eight, seven. Elbows in. Six, five, four, three, two. Press back up. Come on up. Roll the shoulders out. Amazing job. Let's swap out our bands for the lower body. And we have our question of the day. Drink a lot of water. Good job, everyone. From the people I could see, it was beautiful. It's always beautiful. The strength is not always the easiest day. The question of the day is, what is your favorite use of katsu other than the daily workout? And if you don't use it for anything else, what is something that you are potentially interested in trying with your band other than the daily workout? I'm curious for answers. Instagram, feel free to toss them into the chat. Zoom, let me hear what you got. John, dishes, arms and legs. I love it. We saw the day you were playing separately, of course. I, I was waiting for that. We saw the day that John was playing Mr. Mom and he was just doing his dishes with his bands on. <laughs> Sydney and Sophia say swimming with aqua bands. Super cool. I've yet to try that and I really want to. Steve says typing email. Diane, swimming, all caps. Steve says like right now. Mary says biking and walking. And John says walking the dog, untethered legs. Brutal. Nice. Honestly, sometimes I put my bands on and I sit and I just let them do their work. <laughs> Uh, I really want to take them, though, on a hike and uh, not see how they do, see how I do. All right. George says, sought to work out with X3 bar band. Interesting. All right. I love it. Okay. Leg bands are on. Big sip of water, everybody. All right. Let's do this. Okay. We've got lower body. Come on up. Hike those outer edges of your bands up. We're going to start by torching our calves, as we tend to do. And then we're going to continue into the same kind of trend of honing in on one muscle and really working into it. So, cycle's going. I'm all tangled up here. First exercise we're going to do are our sumo heels. We've done this one a lot, but every time we do it, I still get shaky. So it means there's always room to go stronger. So I'm gonna walk your heels out, angle the toes out, bend into the knees. 
Awesome. All right. First 40 seconds. We're moving slowly. You can make this harder by dropping further into it. Heels up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. We're rolling. Now making sure that the outer edges of the knees keep pressing out. We don't want to let them swap in. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Nice. You can play with balance here if you want. Arms out or arms up, but it makes it harder. Good. Don't let your heels touch the ground. Up, two, down, two. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Then we are, of course, going to pulse it. Nice. Good. See if you can drop the hips even lower into it, add a bit more weight. In five, we're going to lift those heels, pulse them at the top. We have four, three, two, little pulses up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up. Rock side to side. After our second set, which is this one, we're going to take a quick calf stretch because we don't do a lot of calf stretching, and that's an important part of this workout is making sure that we don't overdo it to the point where we are actually injuring ourselves more than we're benefiting. All right, second set. Drop into it. Get even lower. 40 seconds. Let's do it. Now, see if you can barely move your heels. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch. Yeah, get those hips even lower. If you're not shaking by now, drop even lower into it. Add some weight from the body. Yes. Whew. <laughs> there we go. Half done. Awesome. And if you want to hold on to something here, that's totally fine. Today is not a balance day. It is a strength day. In eight seconds, we're going to pulse at the top. Five, four, three, two, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step your left foot forward, right foot back. Glue your heel to the ground. Bend into your left knee. Keep that heel glued down and press that leg as straight as you can. Calf stretch. Nice. Good. Keep pressing your weight back. Heel down. I see some sneaky heels. And switch. Left foot forward. Right heel down. Glue it down. Bend to that leg. Press that leg straight. All right. Next up, we have hamstring curls. Now, if you want to hold on to something, so say this was my imaginary wall, oftentimes when people do hamstring curls, I see some of this or some of this. I want your body to be a straight shape. You pull your knees in line with each other. We completely contract our hamstring. Then we curl down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. So a wall, would help you from compensating, or a chair, or whatever, or an imaginary wall, okay? Left heel into the butt, completely pull it in. Start with that max, that muscle at max. Here we go, 40 seconds. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Notice if you're starting to arch your back, keep your core fired the whole time. Two, up, two, down, two, up two. Don't let your shin drop past 90 degrees. Good. Let's see how we're doing. Half done. George, I love it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good. In 10, we're going to contract it. Keep growing taller. Keep your body stick straight. We have five, four, three, two. Pull your heel in. Pulse it. Eight, squeeze your belly. Seven, six, five, grow taller. Four, three, two, and rest. Kick it out a bit. 
All right, other side. Going right into it. Pull your right heel into your butt. Grow taller, 40 seconds. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. That's it. And if you think about it, it's only 80 seconds of work to fully burn out our hamstrings. That's not bad. Not a lot of time. Good. And this is our first set. We are, of course, going to do one more. Nice. Half done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump on in as well. Good. Notice if your knees are starting to shoot forward, keep pulling it back so they're in line. Down. Two. Up. Two. In ten, we're going to pulse it. Six. Five, four, three, two. Pull your heel in. Core strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Right into the second set. Left leg. Pull your heel in towards your butt. We are going. See if you can make it an even smaller, lower movement. Pull. 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 I don't care if you only do five or ten the entire set, as long as your muscle is working for you the whole time. We can go to the gym. We can do endless reps of things. Or we can actually just contract our muscle to build strength. Great. Good. Nice, Indian Sophia. Looks good. Got me pumped on swimming with the band. <laughs> Awesome. Last 15 seconds. We've got that pulse. We're going to go right to the other leg. And then we're going to switch to our next exercise that is also going to focus on the hamstrings. Give me five, four, three, two. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. We are so tired of the hamstrings. I know it. Pull that heel in. Final one. Baby lower, baby lift. Baby lower. Baby lift. Get your glutes involved. Get everything involved. George has got his hands up, just like balancing like it's no one's business. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Diana can't see you, but I know you're doing awesome work in there. <laughs> Half done. Good. Notice if you're compensating, you're leaning forward, you're leaning back. Grow a little bit taller. In five, we're going to pulse. When we are done with these, four, three, two, pulse it up. Eight, seven, knees back. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come halfway down, flat back, straight legs. Take the hamstring stretch. Give the legs a pedal. And let's go right into our next exercise. Time's flying today. I mean, we're doing a lot of the same thing, but time's going really fast. All right. Right foot. Oh, my theory is like, I'm not sure I understand. Right foot forward, left foot back. It is the hamstring fire up part two. We have lunge knee hovers. Now, you can choose how hard you want this to be. The hardest variation of this would just be hovering, baby movement the whole time. If you absolutely can't do this, you can straighten out the back leg a little bit more, but I'd like you to try and keep a bend in your back knee the whole time. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. 40 seconds, here we go. Good. Get your knee to the floor or almost to the floor. Up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. And I'm driving my right foot forward the whole time to create traction. Keep it up. Yes, half done. And in the name of time, we're only going to do one set of these today. Otherwise, we're only going to work our hamstrings and nothing else. So let's make it good. 
in five. We're going to hover at the bottom, minuscule pulse right off the ground. Three, two, one. Get that back knee down. Pulse it. Pulse it. Almost touching the floor. Eight, seven. Squeeze your butt. Six, five, four, three, two, and switch right into the other side. Get that right knee down. Notice the 90 degree angle in the front leg. Good form. We're going. 40 seconds. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two. Awesome. Whew. <laughs> nice. From those who I can see, I'm seeing a straight spine. We're not compensating leaning forward, and that makes me really happy. Good form. Legs are going to be like jello or like lead, some of both. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Last 15 seconds. Get that knee down. Burn through it. Squeeze through it. Use your glutes. Use any muscle you can to help out in the back of your body. In five, we're going to hover and pulse, and then we're going to take the stretch. Four, three, two, pulse it. Eight. Seven, lower, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Five good mornings. Hands to shoulders, elbows in. Drop down, straight spine, straight legs. Come on up. Good. Come down. Keep your spine straight. Pull your collarbones forward and shoulders down. Three more. And last two. And final one. Now, my goodness, we've worked our calves, we've worked our hamstrings, the backs of our legs have been fired up. Let's move on to our quads, and then we'll do quads and glutes, and then we'll see how much time we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and this next one is plank to frog. So, we come down into plank position. My feet are wider than hip distance. I press my butt back. I shift forward. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, go bear to frog. Bear, frog, bear, frog, okay? So you're just shifting through this the whole time or you're in full plank position, okay? Coming back, coming forward. And what I want you to try and do is, like everything else we've been doing, make it really slow. So back, two, three, shift, two, three. Back, two, three, forward, two, three. Let's go. Set yourself up, either in plank or bear. 40 seconds, we're going. Yes, and see if you can make it an even smaller range of motion. Back, tiny bit forward. Back, tiny bit forward. No piking. Keep your butt your, down. Your hips are in line with your shoulders. Yes, we got it. <laughs> this also requires and increases ankle mobility. We're getting a little, oh, two and one here. Awesome. Half done. Mm -hmm. Try and keep your hips behind your knees the whole time. Don't let them stack. That muscle has to contract the whole time. Amazing. In 10 seconds, we're going to press our butt back towards our heels and work into it. Give me five, four, three, Two, press your butt back, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Top of the feet, press your butt back to your heels fully for the stretch. All right. In 10 seconds, we're going to set ourselves up for a second set. Start to shift your weight forward. Make your way either into bare, hovered knees, or plank. 40 seconds. I'm going bare in three, two, one. Back, two, three, forward, two, 
three, back, two, three, forward, two, three. Try not to let your hips come forward at any point in time. They're either in line with your knees or they're further back. Shift back, little forward. Back, little forward. Yes, that's it. Smaller range. Woo! Good, good, good. Half done. Mm -hmm. In 10, we're going to push back and work into it. Forward an inch, back an inch. Five, four, three, two. Shift your butt back. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up to sit on your knees. Drop your butt towards your heels as much as you can. Hands back. Option to lift your butt off your heels. All right. Second quad exercise. We're also going to get the glutes involved as well. And then we're going to go full glutes, and then we're done. All right. So it's a wall sit. I don't care if you have a wall or not. You're going to sit. Okay? Couple things. Even though I'm down on my invisible wall, I don't want my weight to shift forward. My weight is still in my heels. A good way of knowing if your weight is in your heels, can you lift your toes up? If you can, your weight's in your heels. Now, once you come down into your invisible wall, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, okay? Try not to let your legs straighten the whole time. All right. I'm ready. We ready? We can do it. It's a hard day. It's a really hard day. I think today is actually a lot harder than yesterday. Just given the sheer nature of what we're doing. We're tired, okay? So, feet slightly wider than hip distance. Drop down into your invisible wall. Make sure your weight is in your heels. 40 seconds. Here we go. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. If you want harder, get lower. Add more weight to it. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Keep going. Do not let your legs straighten the whole time. Make sure your weight is shifted back. And notice what your back is doing. If you're slouching and rounding out, you're not doing yourself any favors. Half done. Sydney and Sophia, amazing. That is a minuscule movement, and I love it. In 10 seconds, we're just going to drop low and hold it. Five, four, three, two. Get low and hold. Eight. Seven, six, five. Arms up. Four, three, two, and one. Press up. Couple butt kicks. Last one. Whew. Let's do it. All right. Step those feet slightly wider than hip distance. Drop your butt into it. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. If you want more of a challenge, arms up the whole time. Look at you, depending on what you're feeling. Yeah, keep going. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And because of our time, this is gonna be our last lower body exercise of the day, then we're gonna do our core. Get even lower, last 15 seconds, boom. You've made it this far, you can do it now. Check your spine, is it upright or are you slouching? In five, we're gonna get low and hold. Four, three, two, get low, hold it, stay still. Now, option, extend your arms up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, butt kicks. You survived. Great, great job. Our core work for today, plot twist, is actually standing balance. So we're going to work into the sides of the legs and our obliques because that's one area we didn't cover, and it's very important. But we're doing this, think of it as core work, okay? So the first move is shifting your weight into your left foot, bringing your right leg 
up and down. Don't let it touch the floor. If you feel like you just really need to build more strength today, bring that leg up, down an inch, up an inch. You know the drill, okay? But if you want to do full range of motion, I don't care because we're really going for the core work today. We've got 40 seconds. We're doing one side. We're doing the other side. Then we have one more move and we're done, okay? Here we go. Right foot off the floor. Up and down. Keep the left shoulder over the left hip the whole time. If you need more strength, work into that little pulses. Up, 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 and that's up to you. You want more of a challenge, you can do arms out, you can do arms up, play with it, but think about your midsection and growing taller from the top of your head. Don't look at me, look at a point on the wall or the floor that's not moving. Focus on it, balance, do your best. Beautiful, half done. Get that leg up even higher. There we go. Go for slow, slow it down, go half as fast. Nice. We are gonna pulse at the end, just cause that's what we're doing today. Last 10. Nice. In five, lift and hold, we have four. Three, two, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, grow taller. Four, three, two, and one. Right into the other leg, 40 seconds, up and down. Try not to let your left foot hit the floor. Good. There we go. And this especially should be taken slow. Even if you do five reps the entire time, that's great. Controlling the body, using your midsection. Ooh, we. <laughs> We are half done. Yes. In 10, we're going to pulse at the top. Six, five, four, three, two. Get that leg out. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands on hips. Circle now. Other way. Come back through center. Last exercise of the day. This is it. Final thing. We're standing. We're keeping it simple. It's a single leg march up and down. If you want to challenge yourself more, pulse at the top the whole time. Up, 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 using your core to get that leg towards the body. Notice my back is completely flat. I'm not this, I'm not this, okay? 40 seconds, here we go, left foot. Up and down. Option to just pulse at the top. Use your core. Get that knee even closer to your chest. Okay, and we're not gonna pulse this one because we might be pulsing the whole time. The final work we're doing, up. Up. We're also working our quad. Everything is moving. Half done. Whew. <laughs> that standing leg is working as well. Last 10. So we're going to go right to the other leg. Get it up even higher. Use your core. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Other leg. Get it up. Last 40 seconds of the day. And we're taking a quad stretch and we're calling it. Good. Imagine you're balancing a watermelon on top of your head. Only this part of the body is working. Nice. Half done. My legs are getting a little tired doing this. I'm gonna have to pull my belly button in even more. Woo! Last 15 seconds. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your left foot, ankle, shin, or something. Take the stretch. Keep pulling your knee back and pressing your hips forward. Squeeze the left side of your butt. 
grow a little bit taller and switch it. All right. Now, I thought today was pretty hard based on stacking the muscles, repeating exercises for one muscle, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think because these workouts are always for you. Go ahead and release that foot. Give your shoulders a shrug. Reach those arms up and overhead. Bring your hands together. Give yourself a big round of applause. Nice job, gang. Very, very, very good work. Any feedback's appreciated. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you. Go awesome. get her. Yay.